There are five main reasons why property insurance companies deny property insurance claims. We're going to run through all five today, and if you've had your property insurance claim denied in the past, at least one of these will sound familiar to you. The number one and first, in no particular order, reason why property insurance companies deny claims is that they'll claim there is no coverage under your policy for that loss. Now, there may not be coverage under the policy. I don't know. You have to look at your policy and see. Even though the insurance company may say it's not covered under the policy, may or may not be accurate. So it's very important to have someone who knows what they're doing, an insurance claim professional, look at your insurance policy to see, hey, is there actually coverage for this loss? Or should I just trust what the insurance company tells me? Number two, the second reason why they deny claims is they say that your damage is the result of wear and tear. Okay, wear and tear means it's just getting old and you know, why should we as an insurance company cover that? Now, in reality, wear and tear is not covered under your policy, okay? Two things with that though, actually many things, but two main things. Number one, even though they call something wear and tear, it may not be wear and tear, it may be sudden and accidental on the policy, and they're just calling it that to make it kind of go away. And number two with that wear and tear exclusion is that even if that event is from wear and tear, they may not cover that, but if that issue causes damage to something else on your property, well, they do cover that ensuing damage. So they don't always tell you that, but it's always important to know that even if your issue is wear and tear, if that issue causes damage to something else, that something else will be covered, okay? Number three, they deny claims saying that your damage is pre-existing, that all those damage to your shingles or whatever else, that was there before the hurricane. That's not from that storm, that's from there before. So that one a lot of times is pretty easy to beat, especially when you have a big event like a hurricane or a fire or something of that nature. But they do oftentimes try to say that your damage was pre-existing the date of loss, which leads to number four. The most amazing one that we see is that insurance companies will come, look at your house, realize you put an insurance claim in for damage, and then come back and say, we didn't see any damage at your house. Since there's no damage at your house, there's no coverage. This is often amazing because if there was no damage, well, you probably wouldn't have put in a claim to start with. Okay, but they oftentimes do come back and say, well, we didn't see any damage, so therefore no coverage. All right. Lastly, is probably the one that's most aggravating, is that they'll come to your house, see your damage, come back and say, Mrs. Smith, yes, you have damage. Mrs. Smith, yes, it's covered under the policy, but your damage is under deductible. Meaning that, well, you have damage, but since you have a $5,000 deductible, we calculate the value of your loss at $4,700. And since that estimation is below deductible, we pay you nothing, okay? This is not a true denial, since they're offering coverage and doing the right thing for you, but they're not going to pay you anything, because in their minds, they valued your loss under deductible and want to pay you nothing, okay? Those are the five reasons. If you've had an insurance claim before and been denied, you've probably seen one of those in your denial letter. So if you do have a denial, it's important to have an insurance claim professional look at your loss and see, were these denials, one of these five or others, is it valid? or should I get coverage under my policy?